came onto somebody's house. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> today, I'm filming this video especially for you guys because today we have a very interesting episode that we are going to use our pit bikes and maybe our sport bikes inside, guys, today. Welcome back to the channel, Nikos Farming here. And today we have a very new stunt track that is being built outside of our village just like pretty close to my house where i live in this is actually the place where there are many trucks stored between the stunts between the mountains that you can actually jump over to get some new points and get some new money and this is what we're going to do guys today so the first thing i'm going to do is of course i'm going to take my pit bike i'm going to store it inside my of course my most favorite monster truck with yellow color i'm going to transport the pit bike right there because i don't have that much gasoline left inside the bike because the stunt right the stunt track is pretty far away from the village we're going to go down there we're going to use our bike here and just try to jump over the obstacles over the trucks and if we're not going to do that then i'm going to help to jump over the stunts with the help of my sport bikes but i don't think we actually need the help of our sports bikes today as you can see the pit bike is really loud when it's even not driving here because it's really really loud bike so it uses also a lot of gasoline but it's not that fast enough and it's actually also hard to transport sometimes because you should just attach it to the monster truck right here because I can be either driving with one pit bike or with many sport bikes in a row so sport bikes are actually a bit smaller and much more effective than fast the pit bike but I do also love pit bikes because you can off-road on them really easily so the next thing we're doing right now is we are coming to our stunt track with this pit bike I'm going to re-unload the monster the pit bike from the monster truck and then we'll see what will happen if we will be able to jump over the track or not let's see that just in a second oh I just crashed my pit bike a little bit because the roads are so tiny here for the monster truck nevertheless let's continue going okay guys so here we are we just came to our stunt track as you can see there are so many colored trucks right here that we have to jump over and not let any of them crash so i have no idea because as you can see the stunt mountain here is so high it's probably like a hundred feet tall and it's actually pretty much enough space to jump over the trucks if you gain enough speed but i'm really not sure if we will be able to get enough speed with our pit bike here it uses a lot of gasoline the acceleration is pretty slow i mean like the acceleration is pretty good enough i would say as for the motorbike but the maximum speed that the pit bike can handle in a short distance is relatively small so we are going to use a little bit more space here because there's not enough space to accelerate let's just try to run over these sm smaller bumps with no trucks at all so as you can see the pit bike can go pretty easily up you can just you just need more gas to put into it like more more pedal gas and then just go up here um it does not handle that one that easily as it did with the previous one and also the pit bike is really loud as you can see it sometimes makes these loud interesting noises but if we're going to climb it once again with a little bit of more distance that I'm trying to do right now it's not working at all so I just climbed the other the other stunt track here that is closer to the trucks as you see and you can see the pit bike cannot do it at all so I'm just pu pulling pulling more gas it just it just goes down so I don't think this bike would be a nicer option for that let's just try to climb down a little bit <gasps> just on the trucks here <laughs> what would you just do with them guys that's pretty funny i hope we did not crash that yellow truck here but as you can see i can not only overfly them but i cannot even drive on the top of the trucks which makes it the most difficult pit bike to drive for the track to drive for this stunt track so i'm just going to head to my house back I'm just going to transport my sport bikes, all of the versions that I have, are probably three or four sport bikes that I have in my garage right now, transfer them with the monster truck back to the track and then try to overfly all the trucks with them. So this is what we're going to do right now. And my house is pretty close here. I a little bit forgot where my house was. I think it was somewhere in the city center here because the stunt track is so far away from the city center, from the village center that you can just, yeah, you can just crash it somewhere here. So yeah, here we came right now. We should just uh, come outside somehow with this monster truck. You can see just like back here there is a car dealership sorry i just came onto somebody's house sorry about that guys nobody's living here hopefully right now so yeah here's the dealership i forgot to tell you it, my sport bikes are not in the house right now they are in the dealerships because when i was driving by now and crashing into the house i just noticed those sport bikes being inside here and uh, yes here they are so i do also have like a small small quadricycle like a three-wheel bike but i don't think i'm going to use that for jumping these are the three my most of my most favorite sport bikes the red one it's called the aprilia the black one and the other black one as well so these are the three most powerful actually sport bikes in the whole village as far as i know because in my village where i live my whole entire life i've never seen sport bikes more powerful than this one and they also may be pretty loud as well but 
they are much more accelerative than the pit bikes as well so we were going to put them like inside like that in the in the monster truck and as you can see they are they, you can transport them really easily it's not as hard as you can do that with the pit bike because while using the pit bike it uses much more space the wheels are more like off-roady and it makes it pretty more difficult maybe you guys won't believe me but you can see i have just stored almost four already four bikes yes and if i'm not mistaken four bikes are, are here i can attach them pretty easily i hope that no, none of the bikes will fall out and i can just transport them back to the racetrack so this is the biggest advantage that i love about the speed bikes the sport bikes sorry that i don't like inside the pit bike the big bike yeah it's cool it's full cool for riding off-road but not on the bigger obstacles and with lower speeds but i love more adrenaline i love to get more emotions out for driving so i'm going to use the sport bikes right now even though there is some grass on the stunt track here's the stunt track right now so i think we will use even more acceleration space for the sport bikes to over jump these tracks that you can see in front of because these bikes are not meant for driving on grass or on rivers only the monster truck and the pit bike are meant for that in our village so here we are right now let's just unpack do like a little unpacking unboxing of our sport bikes here let's just let that monster truck disappear and i think i will start off with that three wheelie bike let's just test drive it a little bit we, could, we should just be more careful with that i think that's it is actually the honda oh my gosh it's not even that much controllable of a bike i mean it's like a tiny toy for kids I don't think you can even over jump something yeah it actually has pretty much power because as you can see you can do this power wheelies pretty easily you can just stand up like that as you can see you can go pretty easily but it is not enough acceleration it is not enough speed for us to overcome this biggest this biggest stunts and obstacles so let's just try to go inside here the river come back to our sport bikes i mean like why should you even visit that why should you even drive on that tiny toy it's like an engine toy but i don't think the kids are even allowed to use it so who the hell needs this bike i mean like this bike does not belong to me only this black sport bike belongs to me and as you can see yes we just did the first jump that was pretty easily guys so <laughs> this is actually this one of the slower sports bikes here and it it did the jump pretty easily as you can see no problem with that so the thing that i'm going to do right now i'm going to return back oh my gosh i love curving on like going into the back making turns on high speeds on them on the sport bikes none of the cars can give you those emotions that these sport bikes give you so the first the first bike jump is attempted successfully i'm not going to use the three wheel as i told you i'm just going to use the second one right now the second stunt and then use it all again with the two other bikes and i hope they will do that as well because we can get actually a lot of money off of that after we will climb over this stunt so as you can see the bike goes pretty easy it has so nice brakes as you remember with pit bike it did not have enough brakes just to stand still just to stay still on the stunt so it just went down a little bit and these bikes have no problem with that at all so this was the first jump which is it and we can even jump back like that but i don't i don't need that one so let's just change the sport bike to the second one probably i will take the red one because this is the fastest of the bikes that i have here look it looks so sporty and modern i mean like every single kid while walking in the village is looking it's just watching on this bike and i really adore it so here we are guys make a little bit more acceleration three two one let's go 100 miles per hour let's go let's jump oh my gosh we don't have enough spot yeah we, we did it yes oh yeah we're not dead we did it oh we just crashed into the tree accidentally but we did not crash any of the trucks and so the second just jump was successfully attempted but this is still not the end because the most important bike that i want to use in this stunt jump is the third black sport bike because this is actually the first sport bike that i bought oh why is this guy bike not jumping like that because the approach is too steep probably huh this was actually a fail for this sport bike i thought it would handle this this small hill pretty easily but i think it was too steep enough too steep enough for this bike this black bike is my most favorite one because this is the first bike that i bought and i had the most emotions with it and yes it goes pretty easily up so it's more effective to go off-road than the red sport bike even though it's a little bit slower i think the brakes and the steering is much better on that so this is why it's working more perfectly oh uh, yeah let's just not crash into the pig bike and now, oh my gosh i just crashed into everything i mean like the biggest disadvantage of this bike it's really hard to control it it's really hard to steer this bike and you need even more space to accelerate right here so let's just come back right here from this factory i'm just i just want to make the top speed and jump as 
far away as I can, probably like look at that speed, 150 miles an hour, 170. It's it's crazy bike. It just it does some crazy speeds up here. But it's not that much off road. But let's just try to jump in three, two, one. Let's go. Oh my gosh! I almost jump on that roof. Wait, 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 I just landed on that roof a little bit and crashed into the garage. That was crazy, guys. I thank you very much for watching, and I see you in the next episode.